Okay, so today we're going to create a batch droplet in Photoshop to um, automatically export out um, images for photo galleries and things like that. I'm going to create a little droplet that is going to size um, the thumbnail images for my gallery. So when you, you want to start with uh, a folder on your desktop with the original files that you want to size. Um, for the original file that you're going to open in Photoshop to create this, this batch droplet, you want to make sure that the file name is pretty small. I've had trouble when it's a really long name and it tends to, when you export it, it writes over that same file over and over again. It's something to do with the action that's created in Photoshop. So I've had better luck if it's just uh, a small name like this. So this one's fine. So you just want to open it in Photoshop. Um, and this is a horizontal image, so you would create a action for the horizontal version and then you would create a separate action for the vertical version. So this is the horizontal version. So we're going to uh, open our actions palette, which is over here. We're going to create a new action. I'm just going to call that um, horizontal thumb Oops. Um, and start recording. So the first step you want to do is size your image down to what you want. Now, I don't know why I do this, but I, I, I do each step separately. So I'll change the resolution to 72. Then I will um, change the dimensions in here to the ones that I want. And I do each one separately, just it seems to work better and I don't get messed up with what sizes I'm doing and what resolutions I'm doing. Oops, I'm supposed to canvas size that actually. So we'll change that to 88. So this is my um, size of the image that I want my thumb to be. So now that we've sized it, we're going to save it for web. And this is all part of the action. I'm going to save it at 60. And I'm just going to put it in a folder um, called, I'm going to create a new folder actually. I'm going to call it, um, all right, I'm just going to save it inside there. So the last step you want to do is actually close that file and don't save it because we're not saving over our original. We just saved it to web. So you want to don't save it. So there, there's our um, action created. We're going to stop recording and there it is. So then the next step is to just create a droplet, which is super easy. You just choose create droplet, um, choose where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And this is going to be the name of the little droplet application. Um, you want to select the, the action that we just created, which is horizontal thumb. You want to choose it to export to a folder. And we're going to choose our folder, which is the one we just created when we exported that first one. There's our file. Choose that. And then we're just going to save. OK, don't worry about any of the other settings in here. So what that did is it created this little application on our desktop. Um, and this little application is going to do all the sizing for us. You don't have to open um, Photoshop to do it, although it will launch Photoshop when you do it. But you just use this little thing and it will automate all of the whole folder. So the next step before we actually start batching them is we're going to go into our horizontal thumb folder. And the one that we exported when we created our action, I'm just going to trash that because I want to show that it's empty and then it fills up when we do the batch. So that's empty now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our original folder, drag it over our little application and let go. And it will open Photoshop in the background and it saved these out for us as our little size. There they are. All the little thumbs.